is Kim Productions here with another video and today we're going to be doing some uh, CSS I'm going to show you guys how to make your own text based game and I know it's been a while it's been almost a year actually 10 months and I haven't really been on YouTube that much I'm posting as you can tell obviously just been going on with life really I haven't really been using I haven't been doing as much program as of late. I've picked up a little at the end of the summer, but still a lot of languages and a few projects actually that I haven't finished, so hopefully I'll get to those eventually, I guess. And um, by the way, I want to thank everyone for, I got a lot of support on my monitor review video actually. I mean, I didn't, I haven't checked my YouTube in a while, it's because I don't really consider this a big part of my life, I just kind of do it. For fun, you know. And I saw the video had 1.2 thousand views. I saw some comments, so I said, "Oh, I better, uh, you know, reply to those." Thank you guys for that. So we're gonna get into the video now. Um, so I'm gonna go over this. This is some code I already had from CSS, and I learned a fair good amount of basic CSS from a camp I did a year ago, I think, or maybe last summer. I'm not sure exactly. Time, well, time is kind of messed up in my brain right now, but um, this, I did a more complex project, which I can't fully explain because I forget some of the parts, but this I can fully explain, and I'll, it will help you guys, I'm going to help you guys make a, your own text game. So first off, in CSS, you always want to include, like, different things like these, include Windows H, standard library, strings, like they all have a part purpose so if you include the strings you can write like string path obviously string commands and different things and it's just different you know different things you're including in the library so usually I just include basically everything I've ever all of this just to make sure if I try to do something error or something this will prevent that so you want to have all of those at the beginning of your code usually and with CSS, you want to use put using namespace std. That's what you put at the beginning. And for starters, you put int and bracket. You close at the end. So you don't need to have be that good at CSS. This is very basic. Like I'm not that good at CSS. I just dabble in it a little. There's a lot of languages I only dabble in a little with, and I don't really not that advanced with but hopefully I'll learn some more soon this summer but um at, so first off the one command you're gonna wanna know the out that yeah, basically just prints lines out so as you see here C out we have that a lot of times in the code see here and also C in that specifies what the user is taking in let's just start from the beginning so right here this isn't needed but this is my own little thing I learned how to do if you want to make say a slow starting let me just show you what the effect is that gives so it's loading up now and this isn't required it's just a little thing I did so as it's loading lagging a little Uh, it's not responding well basically let me just tell you what it does it displays each letter of what you write down and after every letter it pauses so it basically displays the text like slower it adds a kind of effect if you wanted to so sorry I'm trying to get off the screen so to do that you want to set a variable as a character so a char as it says and I named it test right here so so see I wrote a sentence here you are a young man with dreams of adventure and then that that backslash with the end right there makes it go on to a next line so my story is you go on a y you are a young man with dreams of adventure on an expedition to the ancient pyramid team of well-renowned archaeologists while exploring the ancient ruins of the pyramid 
find yourself lost from the rest of the group. And right here is where it all comes to play for my beginning. 4 integer i is equal to 0. i is less than the size of test, so our available i is always going to be less than the size of this. Then you add 1. And then you print test to the i. The i th power, maybe? I don't know the correct terminology, but since it's a character, in these brackets you specify which one you want. So if you said the second character, this would be the O and U. Or the fourth, that would be the A and R. So this is basically printing, it sets the I as zero and it adds one, so that will print the first of test, the second, and pauses a hundred after each. So it just goes, makes it go slower pretty much. Oh, and as you see here, the test, the text finally came through. Let me try rerunning that one more time. So as you see here, the text goes slower. So it kind of adds a cooler intro if you want to do that. But it's not needed. And for this, we do integer i is equal to 1, while i is less than 5. So we're going to get into more of why we did the, that a little but basically, int i is always going to equal 1. So, and while i is less than 5, it can be whatever number you want. It can be less than 2, less than 100, as long as it's not less than 1. Because this is going to print forever until, of course, it stops, which it does at a point. And actually, in this code, I think... I did this a few months ago, so I'm just explaining it now. There might be one or two path errors, but that's probably because all of this gets jumbled up. But I'm just going to show you the basics of what I've done. And so, as you can see here, first thing we do, see out. You come across two paths in the sand, and then I end the line at the end. And then I sleep. Sleep 1000 is basically just a pause. So, pauses after each line for 1000 milliseconds. And I'm pretty sure that is included in time h, so you want to include that in your section at the top. And then, see out. You can ask them for help or continue down the path. Help or continue. So right there I put the options, help or continue. If you type anything else, then it won't go through. It will just stay there. So let me just show you guys what I did there while it's loading. And we also have, then after we put that, we put string path 7. So basically, I have lots of different paths, different names all around. And actually, I'm sorry, that's down there. Up here, string path, C in path. So this is getting output. It's printing left or right. This is taking in output. You, the user, have to type in left or right. And then, so right here, as you see here, you come to cross paths in the sand, blah, 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 left or right. Type anything in besides that. It says invalid input, so you can't. Type in right. As you come across two paths in the sand, on the left you see a path with footprints, on the right you see a path with tire marks, left or right. So I'll go left. Follow the path to find a local tribe. You can ask them for help or continue down the path. I'll put, uh, say help. They point you straight ahead in the wilderness. Blah, 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 you get the gist. So after you do the C in for input, you want to put if path equals left. So that's an if statement. If they enter left, and then you put a bracket and everything, inside that bracket should have know the input that you want and actually you should leave you should actually keep close most of the outputs at the end because if the path is left see how this bracket starts here it actually ends down here so because I don't if I closed it right there then it would just end that cycle and, and continue to a different path so basically this is just a lot of if statements like, if you enter left, do this, and then it asks you another question. Do you want help, or do you want to continue? Do you want to turn back, or do you want to keep going? Or 
different things. And there's a lot of different options in these. And actually, the invalid input part, I actually did myself. I almost forgot about that. So if you, usually if you type something that, say, isn't what, you know, you type something random. If you say, enter left or right, someone types in up, then it will just close the window completely. But I have this thing right here, which is else, which it means if none of this is entered, if you don't enter any of these things, it will print invalid input. It will ask, it will ask, excuse me, for a path. It will send the integer to i. So that means, I mean, sorry, int. It will set the integer i to zero. It will start you back from the top right here. I'm not exactly sure what the sin path is for. I kind of forget myself, but I think it you need to enter um it asks you to enter something again because it restarts you from Let me just display that right here. It does take the prop the like bad thing about the sleep command is that it is slow. Yeah. Sorry, I thought my audio cut out for a second, but um so if we type in pin two 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 valid input. It just takes you back to the path there. If the sin path wasn't there, then it would um it would basically just take you back to the beginning. It would hold your spot. And you obviously want your spot to be held in place. So that's about it for the path thing. This is just the basics. You can definitely build on this. It's just a bunch of if statements, you know, asking questions, you can create text adventures. And I actually have a more complex game I made last summer camp that I can try to go over. I really don't understand all parts of it, but um, I don't know. I'm trying to try to upload more videos for you guys. I haven't really been active. I haven't really been on my computer that much. I've been playing more on Xbox, you know gone to basketball and I still want to you know finish some of these projects I've started and learn more about programming definitely and I don't know I'm gonna try harder guys I haven't done that much this summer at like except at the end of summer I was working on a little HTML page for fun but I feel like I'm gonna get back into it right now I'll post some more views for you guys and hopefully so uh, anyways thank you guys for watching any questions leave them in the comments and i'll see you guys next time peace